All right, guys, and welcome back to Let's Play Football Manager 2020 in Celtic. This is part 25. Hope you all enjoy. And in the last episode, I forgot to tell you when we would be back. In my excitement after winning the Super Cup, I just said, right, that's the end. Bye. And ran away, so I apologise about that. We will be back for the Champions League game. But we've came back now to have a look at the Champions League draw. We are top seeds so i am hoping to get a nice a nice group here nice friendly easy to win group so that we can go through as group winners and hopefully get an easier game on the next the next round let's just do an automatic draw and see what happens tottenham's in the first group we've got we're going to be one of these teams so we avoid all of these teams which is good uh, Kind of hope we, both, we don't get Man United or Real Madrid out the next two. So Celtic are in Group D. Real, we didn't get Real. We didn't get Liverpool. Leon going with Benfica. Celtic get Man United again. Chelsea are in with, Ma with Milan. Juve go with PSG. Man City, Atletico. Last season should have been quarter final, but Atletico didn't hold up their end of the bargain. That's a hard group there for Lazio. Monaco, Ajax, Celtic get Dynamo is the third team in their group. Good, we avoided like Roma and all of the much better teams, so we'll take Dynamo. They're not Champions League mainstays. Right, who do we want? The easiest team. We should be able to beat any of the fourth seeds, I would imagine. Fenerbahce, an away game to Turkey. That'll be good. So, aye, easy group. So it's going to be out of us and Man United, who's going to win it. Um, I'm feeling confident, but obviously let's have a look at Man United. They spent a hundred million on a player. I'm quite sure in the the summer, ninety five million for this guy, but he is amazing. If you have a look at him, he was from Atletico Madrid. We'd been scouting him for a while, but we're not in the the market for a ninety five million pound man. So it didn't really. We couldn't really take him. But look at how good he is. He's frightening. So he should hopefully be injured. We're hoping he's injured when we have to play them. But right, we'll jump to the next game. Let's see when it's going to be. Uh, I think we need to press continue once to, so that the Champions League games get added in. So the two games in this episode are going to be Hibernian and Fenerbahce. Let's get to it. Right guys, first game of the episode is going to be Celtic away to Hibernian. They are currently third in the SPL. We are, we are sitting second in Hearts. are currently first. They've uh, won every game so far. So... Hopefully that doesn't continue. But this is the team we're going to put out there to try and get the win. Afonso in goals. Godfrey and Pavlovich centre-backs. Greg Taylor on the left. New boy Triontino on the right. His, uh, he's Brazilian, 18-year-old. Stover and Chao Roberto in midfield. Almada in behind Garcia. Kubic on the left. And the new boy Nayek on the right-hand side. Quite a few new players in the team, so... I don't know, but, but the reason that like Jada, Eduardo and all that aren't playing is they're conditioned, they're not, they're starting at 88, so we don't want to do that when we've got a Champions League game in a couple of days, two days I think it is. So what do we want to say? Go out there and carry on from your last match. I don't know if that was the best team talk that we could have done. Half these players haven't played a match. And let's get started. So we're hoping we win and we also want Hearts to lose in the other game. But here's a free kick to Hibbs. Edge of the area. Holden whips it in. He's free there but Afonso tips it over the bar. He's now happy to stay at Celtic Afonso. So that's a bonus. We were, there's no way he's leaving. He's too good. Cooney. Ah oh, but they've just conceded a goal. It's 1-0 Hibbs. I knew that this was going to be a tricky game. I forgot to rest the players. Um, the training when they came back the international break Celtic need to come back into this here Garcia heads it on Whiteman comes out and gathers it and Hibernian have the lead here which is pure shit getting a bit name take that off him McAusland Hibs, and, Hibs, Hibs have spent the most in the Premier League they've spent 11 million we could spend like crazy money if we wanted to but we're just saving up. 
we're just churning the we're just making a lot of money here and there so that we don't really need to as long as we, we don't we keep our best players and sell the ones that we get in and don't really make it but we're keeping the superstars Godfrey Afonso here's Almada hoping to change the game running from the halfway line Ciao Roberto Almada Nayek gets dribbling Torrentino gets down the wing he's got 15 cross and that was a good ball but nobody's there Kubic back to Stover Ciao Roberto Torrentino Crosses, it's a good ball, nobody's on the end of it though, Ciao Roberto again, still got it, Nayek, Torrentino, rattles at the bottom corner, and the young man on his debut gets his first goal for Celtic, good finish, he can't even speak English, and he can hit shots like that, what's he going to be like when he learns to speak the language of the country he's playing in, Stover trip to Donnelly, Catchpole, they've got a player called Catchpole. That was some ball by Catchpole, and he just rattled that. Rory Holden. So the right back to. I think both goals have came for there, but I'm no positive. That was garbage. Show some passion, boys. What's going on? Don't look like a team that wants to win. Greg Taylor, long throw. It's went right through. Ciao, Roberto. Good stuff. We need to win this. Any of this losing shit. Because if we lose, now it's winning or five points ahead is. And that's never been the case since we have been Celtic manager. Greg Taylor. Good ball in again. Another long throw and we nod it off the bar. Unlucky Celtic. Ciao, Roberto. Two Brazilians on the score sheet for Celtic today. And it's Kilmarnock have taken the lead. They're not playing against Hearts, so... Hearts are getting beat 1-0, so we need to win this. Can he afford to begin away these points? I'm not happy. We're not winning, so I'm not happy. It's pretty much the gist of it. Striker is coming off. Zvomnimir Musa is going to come on and try and get us to win the young man, 19 year old wonder kid, best striker at the team and he's only played 6 games or something for us let's go very attacking, 20 minutes to go Greg Ur is coming on to play right mid Thiago Almada is going to need to stay on I think Aye, he's going to stay on there. Demand more. Is this going to finish a draw? Surely no. But I'd rather a draw than name one. Corrigan. He's in behind the right back again. You see that's your ball miss now though. Penalty man! You're a fucking double! Just no need for that there. Right, save this keeper. Bastard, man. We're going to fucking lose. Oh, use our shite. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Getting beat half hibs. They're going to be ahead of us in the league now. Down to third. I'm going to get sacked. Stover. Ciao, Roberto. Strikes it. Even if he had a score there, I would have been still unhappy with you. Passionate up, boys. Ten minutes to go. We need an equaliser. Please score a wonder goal here. You know you want to. You know you want... Ah, bad finish. Eighty-eight minutes gone. Three minutes added. Are we going to get an equaliser here? And break Hibernian hearts. Gregor beats two men, he hits it wide, but what a dick. It's going to end up 3-2 to Hibs. Too many new players in the team just didn't play well at all. Aggressively. There's no excuses. These are all absolutely shit. Take 
a few first team players out and he's can't even beat Hibs. Hopefully we can get a better result in the next game. We'll jump to that now. Alright guys, this is the team we're going to put out there to play against Fenerbahce. We're going to start Afonso in goals, Velicic left back, Naldo right back, Godfrey and Clavijo in centre back. Then we're going to go for Jadar, Eduardo and Stover in the middle of the park and with Almada supporting Greg are up front. Kubic is going to start on the left and also Romero is going to play on the right. Hopefully this is a strong enough team to go out there and get as a result. I thought I would show you this as well. We actually sold another player on deadline day. Let me have a look at him. Where is he? We sold Alfredo to Bayern Munich for 52 million up front cash there and then. Oh, he's a good player. He done well for us if you have a look. We brought him in for 28 million. We played him for four seasons. Three seasons and then we've sold him at the beginning of the, the fourth. And... I mean, he's went there and got a 9 in his first game, so <laughs> maybe we should have kept him. But 52 million, we can't really say no to that to a player that's not going to be starting all the time. He was a good rotation, but we want to start bringing in the young guys, and uh, we weren't going to be able to do that while he was here earning uh, mega bucks. So the finances are looking good, 200 million in the bank. We're only spending 1.9 million on wages uh, out of a possible... 3.6 so we should be okay money wise it's just a case that if we keep losing to fucking hibs and stuff like that we will be uh, very unhappy so is this the team we're sending out there yes this looks like the team that we are going to send out there kubic is only getting a two and a half stars now okay maybe we should play musa as an inside forward But it's a Champions League game, so we're not going to do that in a Champions League game. Right, cool. Well, let's get going. Hopefully we can get a good result. Fenerbahce. I feel like we should be favourites against them. Um, don't really recognise any of these guys. I'm sure some of you do. This is their guy up front. He looks decent. 12 million Spaniard. So if you are interested on them, where they get them from? They bought them for 15 million off of Barcelona last year. Cool. Go out there and give the fans something to cheer on. I only say that because the new assistant manager that I hired has got 20 man management and he says that that's what we should do. I got ready, John Kennedy. It's a shame he's been here for years, part of the furniture, but he only had 13 and judging player potential and judging player ability and I wanted to know for sure where my where they stood in terms of quality. Right here's Fenerbahce I think, Jadar Edward picks up the loose ball, Romero we're looking for a much better performance here, losing to Hibs in the last game was not good but when we get to that we run our games in between January and February like the, after the Champions League finishes before the next round when we get to that run of games we can go and dominate everybody so losing a few games just now isn't the end of the world. Though the other team's squads aren't big enough to go on a big, massive winning run like we can. So I'm not too worried yet. But if we don't win the league, then, like, I retire. Can I have that? Naldo, long throw, Gregor nods it on, Romero! Didn't put it away, it's 2 0, Man United, their new signing's got a goal. Five minutes in there, winning 2 0. Muric. Kicks the ball out, Naldo picks it up, plays it back to Afonso, Clavigio, Naldo, Clavigio, Na Romero, Stover, finds Naldo, here's Stover again, lovely pass through to R Romero, Romero, he's one on one, he's hit the inside of the post, but there is Kubic to get his third goal of the season, and it's Celtic 1, Fenerbahce now. Look at him, he's loving it right over to the Fenerbahce fans like that, yes. You came all the way from Turkey to watch your team getting pumped, hopefully. 74% of the possession in the first 20 minutes for Celtic, 5 shots, 1 on target is uh, pretty alarming. 6 shots, 1 on target now. I wonder what that's all about. Here's Velicic, 
busting down that left hand side. Plays it inside to Stova. Romero. Here's Naldo. Good cross. There's Naldo and Thiago Almada rattles it in the top corner to make it 2 0. And it looks like Celtic are going to get three points in the first game of this season's Champions League. Man United are winning 3 0. They've won every game in the Premier League this season as well, man. You, so they might end up winning this group and we could probably go through second. We'll see, though. We're good, too. So this looks like it's going to be total domination, this game. I don't think they're very good at all. The Turkish league isn't loaded, so that kind of got a downgrade straight away. Almada picks it up. Stover, Romero, Naldo. Tries to whip it in, but can't get it to where it needs to be. Here he is again. Naldo. Giada Eduardo. Good ball with his left foot. Almost picks out Kubic. Kubic brings it under his control, but Fenerbahce managed to get it away. Velicic now. Ben Godfrey. Clavigio. Back to Godfrey. There's Eduardo. Two men on him. Velicic has got a bit of space down this left-hand side. He fights Kubic. He crosses it. Gregor can't put it in. It ends up a good tackle by the Fenerbahce defender. Here's Thiago Almada. Whips that corner back. Stick the good header. But the goalie... The goalie got a hand to it and Kubic is going to hit this corner. But ping-ponging around in the box there, but... Can't end up... Doesn't end up in the net. Almada with a free kick 50 yards out. Romero hits the inside of the post. And that's a couple of goals Romero would normally have had. Which is alarming. I hope he's no lost that goal machine vibe that he had going on. 2 0, half time, no shots for them at all. Very happy. Very, very happy. Jadar Edward is getting a 6.5. So we're going to demand more. Jadar Edward. Never got a 6.5 since I've been here. Maybe it's because he's got big Stover beside him, and Stover's up your donkey. I don't see Stover being good enough to be a Mazala. I've seen him there as a defensive midfielder when I bought him, but Jadar Eduardo, he was meant to be the backup, but he's became good. Jadar Eduardo's like that now. Should I play a bit more further forward and we'll let him drop off? But I like the way that Jadar Eduardo just kind of sits back deep and controls the game for us. Pirlo. And Busquets, like, he's like that kind of player. Not as tall as Busquets, but it's like just takes it, strokes it to the left, and if there's room at the right, he'll just stroke it to the right. Romero beats his man, gets down the wing, crosses it. There's a, another one by Romero. It's just close, but no no cigar. Kubic crosses it, gets it to Clavigio, gets it taken off him. Here's Fenerbahce trying to counter-attack. Naldo cleans it up, though. And Romero gets another chance, he's down this right hand wing. Crosses it, but it gets blocked. Naldo picks it up. Is he going to get a cross in? No. Stover, Romero, beats his man. Beats another man. Penalty? No. And Fenerbahce scramble it away. Clavigio stuck to his man like glue there, but he couldn't get the ball in. Molaz, there's a big space at the far side of the goal there, but he couldn't find it. And Afonso touched it over the bar. Afonso Souza for them hitting the corner. Big Clavigio clears it though. Gregor, he's fast, he dribbles. Sent him off for that. That's a professional foul. It's worth a try. Velicic for the long throw here. Gregor to try and nod it on, he can't get there, but Thiago Almada does. Here's Kubic, beats his man. Smashes it in the bottom corner, and it's 3 now Celtic. He's right over to the corner, and the crowd are loving it. Look at how much they're loving it. Then you see them loving it there. Look at this. Bump. Smack. You don't stop those. Hey, let's make a couple of substitutions. Get Zvlobnimir. Musselin. And... I want to leave Romero on. Who could be doing the rest? The right back. Let's bring on... Big Kieran Smith get him half an hour of Champions League experience. Put Clavigio out in the right. He's a four star right back anyway. He can do the job. They've had one shot on target the whole game. We have had nine. Three nil. And 
basically fairly easy. Here's another chance, hopefully. Godfrey hits the post. He'll kick himself for missing that. The commentator in game says Almada swerves it in. But there's nobody there. Here's Big Stover. Or Stuver. I don't know if that all means Stuver or no. Garkan switches it. Nobody's there. And that's all that she wrote. That would end the game now. Yes, the end of the game. 3 0. Double from Joseph Kubic and a goal from Thiago Almada. Well done, boys. That was a good result. Excellent. Right, so let's have a look at when we'll be back. It'll be a Champions League game and it will be. Right, we'll come back for Dynamo and Rangers in the league. Dynamo and Rangers. These three will play offline. So we'll see you in the next episode. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll see you next time.